Coming up tonight on the Delmarva Sports nice. Insider. Change is coming. Guys, you get it? Yeah, I get it. A coin <laughs> to quarter. determine Someone's the fate <laughs> of the, you are right, the Bayside South. No, we're That's talking cool. about it later on tonight. That was clever. You flipped it on the desk. Yep. And coming up, the Woodridge Blue Raiders, well, the women, that is, look to keep their undefeated season alive, taking on Cape Hen Lopen in the conference title game. Highlights are coming up in just a few minutes. And Scotty D and the Lady Mallards Scotty looking to bring D. home an easy ag title. We'll show you how it went down against Delmarva Christian later on tonight in the show. Well, the lights in the studio are bright. It's a packed house tonight for Delmarva Sports Insider here at 11. And I'm alongside me here is Trayvon Miles, a local legend, sports director, Jeff Harris. Not too far away. Our man Drew will get to him in just a moment. I'm Ryan Eldridge. That's exactly right. Welcome inside DSI, your new favorite show. Fellas, Always. we got a lot to talk about Ready the season. Winding down slowly but surely. That's right. We got the Easy Act Championships last night. Then mm -hmm. we had the Henlopen Championships tonight. tonight. Yep. And then this weekend we have even more action. Yeah. So gas up all of our cars. <laughs> and uh, yeah, make car sure news department exactly. to tell them to, to get gas some the food cars and some up. snacks ready yeah. because we're going to have a long weekend. Yeah. A lot of driving. Basketball, championship basketball, as we've talked about, is, is really a thing of beauty. And, and luckily for all of us, it's finally here. Exactly right. Dover. To Dover we go. Senators hosting Lake Forest for the Henlopen title tonight. And uh, as we went up there, Jeff, you were up there. And Dover came out like everyone in the building expected. Yeah, yeah, on fire. At home. Elijah <laughs> Allen getting the steal, taking it himself awesome. with the lay-in through the contact. Sends out to a 6-1 lead. Jason Vasquez looking to keep Lake in this one. Nice drive and a scoop to the hoop right there. He gets the floater to go. Dover. Undefeated for a reason, though. They've got this guy as well. Eden Davis just going to pick that Cash. young man's pocket and knock down a three. He had eight in the first half. Time winding down in the first. Allen dropping the defender, missing wow. the three. There's Jaheim Spencer. Dover up 19 points at halftime. All right, second half, J.C. Vasquez. What isn't letting Dover get away that easy? He dropped 15 in the second half to cut the lead to just 10, but Dover not letting off the gas pedal. Elijah Allen came alive, really to say the least, in the second half, scored a game-high 31 points. Dover, they take home the Henlopen title, 75-56 to for five. Every, ever since last March, he preached to us, defense is what's going to get us the way we got to go. It's, it's a great feeling, but I got to give credit to my teammates. They got me open shots, the hard screens. I was just making the shots for them, but they was getting me open. We got to keep practicing hard. Don't let up on the gas. Just keep pressing hard on the gas so we can finish on top. You heard it. Yeah, I was going to say, so I, <laughs> so I wrote in my script, this game, wow. But it really should just say Dover. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Dover is legit right now. Real they deal. are firing yeah. on all cylinders. Uh, it didn't hurt that they got to play this game in their home gym, but yeah. I don't think it would have mattered where they played the game at, regardless of where they, they played like this it. game at tonight. They look like they would have dominated anybody in the Hell Open Conference. I mean, this game could have gotten played at Lake Forest, and that's not a knock no. against the Spartans. No. Just Dover is that good, yeah. and they showed it tonight. They had an estimated fan count of 2,900 people inside the gym tonight Six at capacity exactly for <laughs> this team and you see exactly why they come out elijah allen it's like they're unfazed almost at yeah. this point it's very impressive yeah. to see how composed and poised they are eden davis elijah allen 31 points so this team dangerous yes. coming into the yes. state tournament yes i'll say so and you know luckily enough for us anyway that that wasn't the only title that had to be delivered tonight. Somebody exactly else right. had to get one. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the ladies, you may have heard of them, the 20-0 Woodbridge yeah. Blue Raiders, the girls, Pretty good. taking on the 17-3 Vikings from Cape and Lopen. Heard of that team as well. Yes. A lot of ballers hitting the court before the boys game earlier tonight, a heavyweight bout. Cape Hen Lopen looking to knock off undefeated Woodbridge in the Hen Lopen title game. Cannon. Mia Cannon, here Cannon. we go, gets the Vikings on the board early, going coast to coast Cannon. for the lay-in. But the Blue Raiders would settle in. Sierra Smith, she called bank on that one, from deep behind the line. But the night guys would belong to the junior. Cape's Abigail Hearn, 24 points, including this J from the free throw line. And then to check out Hearn on the little V cut right there into the middle. That's how you get it done. It is. On a defense that's live. basketball. Vikings up double digits in the second half, and they would close it out. Alexis Watt is just, oh my goodness, just a reverse layup. The Cape Henlopen Vikings are your Henlopen champions with the 56 to 42 win over previously undefeated Woodbridge. You know, I've been talking to people about this. I don't think any of those girls are surprised. I mean, I don't think 
everyone says that, you know, it's a big turnaround. But the girls, I mean, we came up from the jump and we said these are our expectations. You know, when we set team goals at the beginning of the season, this was it. This was one of them. We just, our confidence has been growing throughout the season, like pl playing Saney's to a close game, like being Tech, beating Central, like rivals in our conference. So it's just building and we're really excited to play into the tournament. So Woodbridge goes down for the first time this season. Certainly the loss difficult for them. But what does this win say about Cape moving forward? Yeah. All right, so, I mean, you heard Coach Wood say it, and it's really not a, a cocky or conceited thing to say. This Cape team knew that they were going to win this game. I mean, every team should think that yeah. heading into a matchup, but they knew that the size that they had inside, mm -hmm. the, the coaching that they had, the players that they had, they were going to match up against this Woodbridge team. And just like Y High last year, we saw the Indians and the boys. Mm -hmm. They were undefeated heading into the state tournament, a little cocky on their side, and some things start to slip. The fundamentals start to slip. Mm -hmm. Saw Abby Hearn on that nice V-cut mm -hmm. in the lane. Those are fundamental basketball skills that win you games and win you Henlopen championships. Yeah, and uh, Woodbridge, you know, I really don't think they have anything to hold their head on. They, uh, about, they lost to a really good team tonight. Uh, I think, if anything, this loss should teach them uh, that if you don't come out and play your best basketball coming up in this DIAA tournament, you are going to be out. It doesn't matter how many games you rolled off undefeated to start the season. You don't play good basketball and honor and some great basketball and play fundamentally sound like you said. You are going to be out of this tournament. And we know Cape has some ballers. And uh, we're going to toss over to Drew Williams, who has more on the DIAA brackets. That's right, Trey. And you mentioned it. Some of these teams will certainly see again as the brackets released for the state tournament earlier today. A pretty packed field this year as we expected and plenty of the great teams will be on display. Seven Henlopen teams will be represented in the tournament including 21-0 Henlopen champed over who you just saw earlier. Surprisingly the number two seed in this bracket because of that Sanford team at the number one spot. Both Dover and Cesar Rodney earned first round buys in the tournament. They'll host games on Thursday. On Tuesday we'll see the rest of our local teams in action starting with number nine seed Sussex Tech who will be the only Henlopen school to host a game in the first round as they have a great matchup against the number 24 seed Milford Bucks. Woodbridge also gets their name going in the tournament. They'll see a familiar face in Mount Pleasant, a team they saw literally just last night. The Henlopen South champ Lake Forest gets in as the number 18 seeded team in the state to take on Christiana. And number 22 Delmar was a team sitting on the bubble, but they get to go dancing against number 11 William Penn. And of course, the girls bracket also announced earlier some great matchups on this side that will feature five Henlopen teams and one Easy Act school. 20 and one Woodbridge checks in as the number four seed in the tournament. And that was expected considering that record 20 and 0. The tournament along with Henlopen champ and number eight seed Cape, who both again get automatic buys to the second round. Other teams include Lake Forest as the number 24 seed in this match. The Sussex Central Golden Knights checking in as number lucky 13. And of course, Sussex Tech securing their spot in the tournament as the number 10 seed. So an interesting field, guys. We'll send it back over to you at the desk to get your thoughts. So you see the teams, a lot of local teams have to play yeah. the first game on Tuesday night for the boys. Yeah. Then Thursday night, we have some teams that are going to be waiting around. The girls, kind of the same. What are your thoughts on how this is going to shake out? Well, first of all, in that first round, we definitely get to see a hem open team moving on with Milford. Don't know how they snuck into the tournament. They <laughs> lost uh, five straight games to lose a season, so they barely snuck into the tournament. Also, one shout out Coach Sean Phillips getting his Delmar team into the yeah, tournament. 22. Man, they were they were fighting hard all this year. But I really want to see what's going to happen as far as that matchup goes with uh, Sussex Tech and uh, Milford. Both of those teams going in different directions. We'll see if Tech can continue to stay hot. Exactly. So Tech losing by 12 to Dover. Dover's undefeated, of yeah, course. Right. And now they're riding, what, a six-game win streak yep. into the state tournament. Yep. So extremely hot. Milford, of course, trending the opposite direction. And then for the girls, you see Woodbridge previously undefeated before this game was even played, and they still came in as a four seed. Yeah. So, yes, they have that first Strength round schedule, by. Yeah. Get some things together. We'll see how they play. And then Cape and Lopen, they play Better than they played tonight, and we really could see this Vikings team go far in the state tournament. That's exactly right. All right, that's it for the A block. But when we return, we're moving to the private schools. Respect hey the Easy Act. Guys, you got love for the Easy Act, right? Respect the Easy Act. That's right. We're talking about it when we come back. I'm Eden Davis from Dover High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.